Hey everyone, I wanted to start off this video by showing off the new dust mask I got. It's super low profile and fits nicely under the face shield. So if you have lungs that you like, check out the description for the link. As for this project, one of my good friends was giving me some tips that he picked up on on how to use some of the wood turning tools, and when Green Builds from the last video asked if I would make them a branding iron, he said he just needed the brand and he could make a handle, and that got me thinking that I could practice using the tools by making a handle for my own branding iron. Specifically, I wanted to practice using the skew tools, since when done well, makes finish sanding unnecessary. So most of the work that I'm going to be doing on this piece is practicing with the skew tools and getting creative to try to make some different features. I'm definitely not as good as I would like to be yet, but this is a much better finish than I was getting in the last projects by just using the gouge tool and then finishing with sandpaper. Ideally, I think the skew tool should make little curls of wood as it cuts, but every once in a while it took some chunks of wood out. I'm sure this is an issue with the tools, the lathe, or the wood because I think my technique is perfect. And by perfect, I mean I still need a lot of practice and the tools could probably stand to be sharpened. Again, I just wanted to get some practice adding different details to this handle and trying cutting different shapes and using some of the different tools. I'm using crystal coat again to finish this handle. It's supposed to be high gloss and looks better immediately after applying than it does after sitting for a little while. So I'm not sure if that's just what happens or if I'm not finishing the wood long enough.
This is what I think the creative part of this project really is. I needed to come up with something that could screw securely into the wood handle and also allow me to screw the brand onto the other side. Additionally, I have an extra constraint on this project of not being able to use a chemical method to secure the brand, either with glue or Loctite, because the heating of the brand would break the grip. With that, I'm going to recycle the rest of the lag bolt and make a mechanical lock nut for the brand. But the first thing is to measure how deep of a hole I need to drill in the handle and then cut a flat surface on the back of the handle. I was using the mark from the center on the lathe to align the drill bit, but with the hole drilled, I can now clean up the front. And finish the ends with some sandpaper. Now for modifying the lag bolt. I first faced off the top of the lag bolt to remove any embossing and followed that by drilling a hole just a little bit deeper than the width of the head. This is both in preparation for turning the head into a nut and making the parting tool not have to work as hard to part the head of the bolt off. With the head parted off and the end cleaned up, the next step is to turn down the diameter of the shoulder to be tapped with an M6 by 1 thread to match the existing threads in the brand. I thought this was a neat trick. Instead of changing tools, I just put the lathe in reverse and used the angle part on the back of the tool to bevel the edge of the part from the other side. Now I get to use the tailstock die holder again. If you haven't seen that series, be sure to check it out. The only thing left after the threads are cutting a quick relief at the top and smoothing everything out with some sandpaper. Next up is to finish converting the head of the bolt into a nut by cleaning up the other face and tapping threads into the hole.
of course, I have to brand the handle of the branding iron. With the branding finished, it's time to finish up the still raw ends of the handle with a little bit of crystal coat by applying it directly with a paper towel. And now, it's final assembly time. The lock nut has the added bonus that screwing it all the way down on the threads before I try to install the lag bolt will allow me to use a ratchet with a socket and make the installation of the lag bolt very easy. I'm using CA glue to give the lag bolt some extra grip. I don't think the heat will be an issue this far up on the part. And not every project can go smoothly. I was nervous that this handle was going to split when I tried putting the lag bolt in before I even started the project. Unfortunately, my fears were realized and the handle cracked on each side. Since the CA glue was quickly drying and I had to act fast, I didn't have time to set up the camera, but I was able to fill the cracks with CA glue before removing the lag bolt and clamp the cracks back closed. After a few minutes, I bored out the hole with a slightly larger drill bit than the one I had used previously and tried my luck again. This time, it went together just as I hoped it would the first time. The lag bolt threads and CA glue grip the wood handle wonderfully, and the custom lock nut makes sure the brand isn't going to get loose and fall off, or worse, mess up my brand marks. Anyway, that's it for this project. Personally, I enjoyed the fusion between using the mini wood lathe and the mini metal lathe in conjunction with each other for a single project, and I hope you enjoyed the result. Either way, let me know in the comments. Hit that thumbs up if you saw something you liked. Be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And as always, thanks so much for watching.